wound healing. The wound healing will depend on three things, the nutrition of the patient, the blood supply, the immune status of the patient. When you talk about nutrition, about 40% of the ortho patients are malnourished. In general, about 60% of the elderly patients are malnourished. At the same time, a fracture femur or a hip will increase the metabolic demand on the patient by up to 25%. So we look into certain parameters. One of them is the albumin. The albumin should be more than 3.5 because that indicates the nutrition status of the patient. The total lymphocytic count, it should be more than 1500 and that would indicate the immune response of the patient. Hemoglobin, it should be more than 10. It indicates the oxygenation of the tissues. Transferrin, more than 200, that indicate the condition of the iron and the hemoglobin. So it really has to do with the oxygenation to the tissue. These are the lab values that you probably will get in a patient that you will suspect the patient has malnutrition because up to 50% with low values will get poor wound healing or infection. Elective surgery should be delayed or rescheduled until these values can be up and can be improved by nutritional support. What can alert the physician about the nutritional status of the patient? What are the red flags that indicate the patient may be malnourished. Ask the patient about weight loss. If you have more than 5% over a month or more than 10% over six months, this is a problem that can indicate the nutritional status of the patient may not be good. What other things that can measure the nutritional status of the patient? The arm muscle circumference compared to six matched. If it is less than 60%, then that's severe malnutrition. Between 60 to 90, that's a moderate malnutrition. How about the triceps skin fold? The thicker, the better. 30 millimeter, 5% infection. 20 millimeter, 10% infection. Then we go to the blood supply, to the oxygen. So we're going to measure the transcutaneous oxygen tension. And these numbers are all over the place. Basically, it should be more than 30 millimeter mercury. Ideally, it should be more than 40. The ideal situation is 45 millimeter mercury. That is transcutaneous oxygen tension. The second one is the toe pressure. It should be more than 40 millimeter mercury. So you can remember the transcutaneous oxygen and the toe pressure, roughly about 40 millimeter mercury will get you close to the answer. If the toe pressure is less than 20 millimeter mercury, then the wound will not heal. Another one, the ankle brachial index. It got to be more than 0.45. I realize that's a difficult subject, but I have not seen an exam which does not have at least one question from this lecture. I hope I made it easy for you. Thank you very much.